have some cool surprise. We can maybe show you something. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Hello all subscribers, welcome to the new video. Today we're going to be doing a reaction slash little speculation when they uh, release the new For Honor trailer at this year's E3. Now I'm a little early, you know, just a little bit. You know, I guess I'll use this time to like say something, you know, about For Honor. You know, like, uh, I'm not going to say much about, uh, think the trailer's gonna be because it's gonna come out then everything i'm gonna say is probably gonna be just disproven immediately for honor is it has gone very far the community has developed the game a lot like the story mode a lot of people it's kind of like star wars the prequels where no one liked it at first and then the memes came along and turned it into the greatness it is uh the multiplayer the main aspect of the game is like to compare uh how it is now uh, to what it used to be is just not fair we have uh six new characters and they're getting uh they're moving less and less away from realism which i personally i i like it uh, a little bit because i don't believe in sacrificing fun or awesome aspects of the game you can put in for the sake of realism because uh i play games because i don't want a realistic experience sometimes i just i i just want to uh, fucking run at supersonic speeds clotheslining people on the street you know and uh for honor you know luck uh, i think it's luke or luck duchene he said he made a very bold statement but i believe it was an accurate statement he said that for honor is in a state now that if you want to fight with a sword that's the game to be in you know very bold statement there saying basically saying that th it's the best sword fighting game in out there right now which there's a way to fucking speed up time holy shit oh wait there is it's called speed up time jutsu holy shit is this it is this fucking it uh this better be fucking it. SHIT! Yes, yes! Yes! The beef dog! Oh, so much gameplay. Whoa. Whoa, so many thingies and it's zoomed out so we can- Ooh. Oh yeah! Is that a uh, Roman? Campos? I think the... <laughs> Holy shit. It's... Streamers, cosplayers, artists, tournament organizers, and all of our players, yes. you are for honor. Yeah! Indeed. Hello, I'm Roman Campos Oyola, creative director. Whether it be upgraded stability with the dedicated servers, release yep. of heroes, Yes. Constant balancing and new training tools. When are we getting? We would this? not be here without your passion and commitment. You've helped us enrich the experience. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you as well, because you can speak. But actions yes, speak louder characters. than words, right? Yes, yes, characters. In celebration of E3, we are inviting new players to join. So. If you haven't played For Honor yet, now is your chance. Starting today and until Free next weekend. Monday, we are giving away the PC Starter Edition on Uplay. Oh. Download it this week on PC and it's yours for free. They're just giving away the game for free? What the so come, join the fight with us. But that's not all. New characters? Question mark. Building on everything that we've learned, we are now ready to expand our world. Yes! Yes! <laughs> with new characters, right? Expand it with new characters. Yes! No! Oh, yes! Kill them! Kill them! The weirdos are the savages! Oh, get wrecked, Ken Sale! Yes! 
Yes! Everything is dying! Holy shit, dual wielding confirmed for Warden. Yes! This is the part we saw in the trailer! What? Is that some time freezing jutsu or some sh What? What the fuck is this jutsu? You just fucking froze time? Are you shitting me? What the fuck? Oh, this is a night place. Are you shitting me? She just- what? Time is frozen! What? How? Why? Get wrecked. I'm seeing everyone getting wrecked except for the knights. So this is shit. Get wrecked, Orochi. <laughs> that guy's about to die. <laughs> shit. Hey, come on, new heroes. Question: What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy what? Why the fuck are they here? No! You, you, what you, you had the ability to freeze time and you lost, you stupid idiot! You fucking idiot! So it is the Chinese people. Chinese After Empire. the great cataclysm that brought Jesus knights, shirt. vikings, and samurai to fight, Civil war consumed China. Warriors of the Wulin factions fought each other, but failed to establish order. Amid the chaos, four warriors of the Wulin now march west. With a new faction, four new fighters, visual enhancements, and single player content yet to be revealed, the marching fire update is our biggest and most ambitious addition so far. But this update would not be complete without answering a huge request from our community. Are they reviving Tozen? 4v4 multiplayer mode fulfilling the classic medieval fantasy. <gasps> you know what it is? Siege. The castle siege. siege. So please allow Don't... me to introduce you to this new mode. Breach. Breach? Breach clear. Work in progress in game 4K footage. Oh, yes! Holy shit. It's visual and enhancement type. Oh. Oh. Yes! Die, right, gangs? <laughs> lava! We're pouring lava on them! Yes! Off Centurion, up. Oh. It's kind of weird. They do more and more face reveals for each new character that they add. Oh, kick. That's probably going to be an unblockable. So, new faction? Or... Because I don't see any new minions. I'd assume new fa- oh, that's an execution for sure. Oh my goodness. They're just wrecking everyone. Oh wait, yeah, I think I saw new minions. Or maybe new minion shield. Okay, uh, he's about to get ganked. Uh, he better lose. You- What? Why aren't you ganking him? They have new shields, that's cool. Shit! Holy shit! That warden is badass! Kill them! Is that an AI boss like where you can, where they reach the end and you have to kill their boss or some shit? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! That is awesome! This better not be the end. This better not be No! No Roman, come back! No!
Okay, well, that was all the Hi, everyone. For Honor stuff. Uh, we, we're we getting four new characters confirmed, and they're confirmed to be uh, Chinese uh, warriors. We got a confirmed new mode, and these, uh, so, and at the end, we have this badass warden boss right here. He, like, his armor and all that stuff, he's definitely a boss. Because, look, he is... That is, that's not a new character, that's a warden with a fucking cape. And he's, look, he's taller than the rest of them. What I think it's going to be is, it's gonna start off, they're going to be laying siege to your castle, and they're gonna try to break into it. So I think what they have to do is break through the first gate with their battering ram, break through another gate, because the battering ram is still advancing once they're inside the wall. They're having minions protect it, it looks like. It'll probably be like the one mission, uh, the last mission in the night story mode, where you have to protect the battering ram crew, and if they get held uh, held down long enough, they'll get damaged, and it'll destroy the uh, it'll destroy the battering ram. And I think maybe once you get through those gates, that's when the boss comes out, and you have to defend him. Oh, and of course, uh, don't, wouldn't want to forget legit the ability to freeze in time. Uh, I think this is a good ability. Uh, this is obviously a great ability. I don't see why she's using it to legit murder everyone. Probably because she's a fucking retard. We're seeing these four warriors just come in and wreck everybody. They're, they have no minions on their side, and so, yeah. It doesn't appear to be a new faction, it's just like, new characters, so, it doesn't look like it's going to change the faction war. Uh, I, I think this freezing in time ability is going to be, uh, quite powerful, it's good to, uh, we only see the knight, uh, character use it. Guys, look! A fucking ballista! If I can try to piece the story together, this... This is a knight castle, or maybe fortress of some kind, and the the knight knights are defending it from the samurai and Vikings, and then the Chinese people come in this sandstorm dragon thing, fucking Ryugawa Tekiwo around. Then they're just like wrecking everyone. No one, no one's like, hey, we should gang up on the fucking Chinese people, right? No. They're just fucking all dying. So we got lots of confirmations. We got confirmed uh, what the name of the new season is. We got all four characters right here. Uh, we got the confirmed new mode. So single player content that will be revealed later and some visual stuff. The marching fire update is our biggest. Okay, if you want my uh, if you want my opinion on the characters, I personally don't like them. Looks like we're getting uh, two assassins, or maybe that one's an assassin hybrid, and I think that one's going to be a vanguard, and the one in the back is probably going to be the heavy. They didn't really give us any gameplay or movesets, uh, but I like the new mode, but I don't really like the new characters from what I've seen so far. Especially because they seem to just effortlessly fucking kill everyone. They're obviously going to be OP. Uh, we should... Uh, uh, when, the, when new characters come out, uh, let's, uh, samurai, knights, uh, vikings, let's all just band together and bully the Chinese kids. Well, anyway, that was, uh, s speculations, reactions, and my thoughts. If you like that, like video, fucking beat that like button into a coma, and Hiroshima that subscribe button.